It's Dave from the Camera Store. Today we're going to talk about how to clean your Canon DSLR sensor. This is an older 6D that has seen a few miles and is definitely dirty. I'm going to walk you through the steps of getting that sensor clean. Now, step one, do you even need to clean your sensor? If you're noticing that there's a little black imperfections and spots on your images, shot after shot that are always on the same spot in the frame, chances are you've got dust on your sensor. Now to physically inspect the sensor, we have to get a good look at it and that means going through the menu system and going where it says clean sensor manually. What that's going to do is lift the mirror and the shutter out of the way and give us a clear view of the sensor to inspect. And make sure you have a fully charged battery. Now, once the sensor is exposed, it's very difficult to see all the dust specks with the naked eye. I highly recommend an illuminated loop such as this one here, which gives me a chance to really inspect my sensor up close and see the condition of it. So we've determined that this sensor is absolutely filthy. Step two is to gather the supplies to let us clean the sensor. Now we carry a whole host of products that allow you to do this. The first thing I grab is the very basic blower bulb. Now to do this, we need to expose our sensor, turn the camera to a 45 degree angle, insert the blower, but don't touch the sensor. Get nice and close, a couple good puffs like this, and it usually gets rid of a majority of the dust that's on the sensor. So once we've used the blower bulb, now we reinspect with the loop and see if we've got rid of all that pesky dust. If there's stuff that is still stuck on there we're having troubles with, we have to go to step three, which is the swab. All right, so this is the most intimidating part of the sensor cleaning process for most people. First, we need to determine what size of swab to go with. They come in different widths depending on your sensor size. If you have a crop sensor like a Rebel or a Canon EOS ADD, you're gonna use a type two sensor swab. If you have a Canon 60 like we have here, or a full frame camera like a 5D Mark IV, you're looking for the Type 3 sensor swab. That means that the sensor swab is the same width as your sensor. Now once you've decided which sensor swab is right for your particular camera, now it's time to actually do this. So I like to set the camera down on a nice surface, pull out a brand new fresh swab, open up my container of solution here, just apply a couple drops across the front and back surface here. We don't want it dripping wet, but we want it to be well lubricated. Now, simply insert it to the one side, either left or right side of the sensor. Light, gentle pressure, swab from one side, left to right or right to left, whatever your preference is. And repeat if necessary with a fresh swab. All right, step four, once you've swabbed, is final inspection. Grab your loop again, have a good look at it, and that looks really good. Turn the camera off, mount the lens on it, and you're good to go.